how to make a can tab chain. Okay, so start cutting all of them on the skinny side, like towards the bottom, so that it doesn't slip off, and then just keep cutting all of them in the same spot, and then start stringing them together, fat part to skinny part, and just keep doing that, collect all your can tabs, and then soon you'll have a giant ass chain. Don't know what you're saying You're flying higher than a plane And I'm not complaining It's getting too loud We'll figure it out I'm out of my brain Carol Baskin Killed her husband, whacked him Can't convince me that it didn't happen Fed them to tigers, they snacking What's happening? Carol Baskin I'm Peppa Pig. This is my little brother, George. This is Mommy Pig. And this is Daddy Pig. A lot of people ask me, how do I make these models? Well, let me show you. You start off with some foam, cut and texture it, hot glue it all together, add some paint, and then voila. Did you know that this clay over here is really hard to find and not just that, but it's really expensive when you do find it? Let me teach you how to make it. You will need translucent clay, which is everywhere, super easy to find. Glitters that are both tinsel and hexagonal in the iridescent color. These are found at most craft stores. Ooh, so shiny. I kid you not, this is one of the easiest clays to make. You're just going to be putting your glitters, both the hexagonal and the flakes, mix it up. And if you don't think that it's shiny enough for you, just add more of everything. That That's pretty much it. And if you're happy with it, now that's pretty much ready to sculpt with. If you want to color it, go ahead and do so. And I made both a lighter color and an icy blue. And here is your baked opal clay. How cool is that? <laughs> Here's what you need to know before varnishing your oil painting. I strongly recommend that you use Gamba by Gamblin. It's one of the only varnishes you can use on your paintings as soon as it's dry. Varnishing an oil painting too soon can actually make the paint start to crack. And if you've sold the piece, this can leave you in big trouble when it comes to consumer protection law. Always make sure to do the research on the products you're using. Paint your canvas yellow. Add some rectangles and squares. Paint the cap of a mushroom. Add some circles on top. Paint over with yellow. Then add the bottom of the cap. Then the stems. Now grab that black and outline. This hybrid form of graffiti was driven by a new generation using stickers, stencils, posters and sculptures to make their mark by any means necessary. Street art was poised to become the biggest countercultural movement since punk. All to see without my eyes The first time that you kissed me Boundless by the time I cried I built
Do you like the color yellow? Well, it used to be associated with the devil. You want to know why? In the Dark Ages, which is the ages before the medieval period, most of society was controlled by the church, and the church actually got this idea from yellow birds because these yellow birds were said to be familiars to witches, which at the time there were... Witches were seen as people who had sold their soul to Satan, which is the reason they had dark magic powers. So yellow was just like straight up not a very popular color, and man oh man, if you were associated with yellow, prepared to be murdered for no fucking reason. So yeah, yellow, sunflowers, daisies, witchcraft, yellow. one of my students' batiks. Isn't it fantastic? It's got little doves all over it. I'm going to show you, as many of you have asked, how to iron out the wax. So the iron is very, very hot. The paper is absorbing the wax. It's absorbing the wax beautifully. Now you have to do this a few times. You can see it's coming through. Now, if I lift it up, that paper is full of wax. A person who thinks all the time has nothing to think about except thoughts. So, he loses touch with reality and lives in a world of illusions. By thoughts, I mean specifically, chatter in the skull. Perpetual and compulsive repetition of words, of reckoning and calculating. I'm not saying that thinking is bad. Like everything else, it's useful in moderation. A good servant, but a bad master. And all so-called civilized peoples have increasingly become crazy and self-destructive. An important art tip that I absolutely swear by is using Payne's Gray instead of black in all of my painting. I don't even remember the last time I used black. Payne's Gray brings a really amazing richness to every dark here and mixes really well for skin tones and shadows. I am so deep. In my work, I make allusions to books that nobody else has read, music that nobody else has heard, and art that nobody else has seen. I can't help it because I am so much more intelligent and well-rounded. Oh yeah, that's a really good idea. I think he's gonna overlap, I guess, with the smoking cigarette fish. I feel like these guys are partners in crime. They're pals. These exquisite illustrations depict flowers in woman form. They were created by Parisian artist J.J. Granville in 1847. There are 54 of them in total in the book The Flowers Personified. I hope you enjoy them as much as I do. 
I just spent nine hours on this look. You know how many likes it's probably gonna get? Three. And it's okay because you know what? I tried to did my best about TikTok. Please don't make this a waste of my time, but it's not at the same time. But you know what I mean? Please help. Don't know what you're saying You're flying higher than a plane And I'm not complaining It's getting too loud We'll figure it out I'm out of my brain I'm a light of floor But I hear sounds in my mind Brand new sounds How to make stickers with me, Karis Cuttlefish. First, you're gonna pick your programs. I like to use Sketchbook to do the sketching, Procreate to do the procreating, and sometimes I use Pixelmate, usually on my computer though. Doesn't matter what you use, just so long as you can have a high quality image at the end. First, you must draw the thing. Oh look, I drew the thing. Then we head on over to Procreate where, oh look, it's magically lined and I like to give my stickers a fun little background, even though most of it won't be showing because I don't like the white bulky perimeters. And then there's two websites I recommend, Sticker Mule for the less experienced and Sticker App for the more experienced that wants stuff that's glittery. Sticker Mule is good for beginners because you just have to send in your image and they will do all the cutting for you and make sure that your image is ready to be turned into a sticker like that. They can also make buttons. Sticker app is a little bit more advanced because you have to do the editing yourself and know how to make a good cut line. And here they are all finished. They're so cute! Part one of drawing you a portrait. Follow me. For a tale of lost love. First, we have a tale of young love. Cowboy Kestrel liked their elementary school crush for three years. In fact, they dated for a couple of weeks before sixth grade. However, perhaps due to the transient nature of human connection, one day he just stopped talking to her. Sad. Hey, I like your hair though. Next up, we have Slack Lackey. Although she has never experienced lost love, one day a pretty girl playing the guitar on the sidewalk complimented her and she swore they had a moment. Honestly, a mood. Perhaps it was something meant to be written in the stars and you'll see her again. Good luck! Like, do we have that Arita? She used to really like this guy and then she finally got up the courage to talk to him and was even going to give him a pendant. However, he talked to her first and said, Well, that was the end of the comment. center post of the witch house. Step one, dig what Eddie Izzard would call a big fuck off hole, miraculously for the first time in my life in the Ozarks without hitting a big damn rock. Yay! Step two, cut giant center post to length so that 13 feet of it will be out of the ground. Next step, put offerings in the giant hole in the ground. A pine cone for longevity. Some rooster feathers for courage. A unicorn horn off an old wand for magic. A couple of black stones for protection acorns for fertility and growth, a couple of local shells for healing and emotional healing, and a stone that a friend gave me a long time ago so the house will be built on friendship. Next we dump in some rocks because we want the post to have good drainage underneath it. Next we pick up the giant heavy thing and put it in the hole. Uh, no comment. Okay, giant post sitting in hole. Now we kick dirt into the hole because we didn't think this through. I've decided
decided to make a 3D mini model of my room. First, I cut up some cardboard. Then I got some white string and made pom-poms out of them. Next, I colored the pom-poms brown to match the color of the carpet. Your girl so fine, but her breath is like Whoa. She says she wanna dance, but she don't know how to Whoa. I'm iced out, ooh, looking like a star Whoa. Her name is Jenny, ooh, bitch don't have no panties Whoa. I'm Steph Curry, when I hit the three, I hit the Gucci, Gucci flip-flops, fuck it, hit your bitch in massage This a big watch, diamonds dripping off of the clock Pull the six out, winter time, dropping the top Give it to they pussy ass, turn this shit up a notch Today I'm gonna try this hack. I've been wanting to try it for a while, but I'm kind of scared. So let's see how this works. The first time I did it, it didn't really come out that great. So I had to rethink and flipped my fork over. And lo and behold, that actually worked way better. So then I ripped all of the old stitches out and tried it again. And actually it came out really nice. So 10 out of 10 for this hack. So I went to my local crystal shop today. They just reopened and they're just a small mom and pop shop. I know they've been struggling throughout this quarantine, so I wanted to support them, so I bought a bunch of crystals. I wrapped some silver wire tightly around three of the stones, and now I'm using my torch to fuse them together. I'm going to cut this shape out of my sheet of metal, and then I'm going to use this pre-cut moon and the sterling silver bezels that I just created. To do this, I use flux, medium solder, and heat. Once everything is attached, it's super hot, so I have to drop it in this water to quench it. I have to check to make sure there's no gaps, and it looks like we're good to go. If you want to see how I made these seven silver balls, you can look back at a previous video I made, but I just attached all of these to the piece. Now I'm going to bend some more silver wire all around the curves, and I'm going to solder that on too. This took some time because this 12-gauge wire was pretty tricky to bend. I decided to make this a ring, so I'm creating a ring shank, and I'm going to clean everything in this pickle. Now it's time to attach the ring shank. These stones really gave me a dreamy, ethereal, celestial vibe, and I just love the way that it turned out with that moon on top. This ring took me about four hours to make. I would really love to know what y'all think about this one. Cinnamon snails, cinnamon snails, cinnamon snails, cinnamon snail. Oh no! My boy's got his own ringtone. It's the only one I know. It's the only one I know. My boy's got his own ringtone. It's the only one I know. It's the only one I know. My boy's got his own ringtone. It's the only one I know. It's the only one I am. So things gotta work this.
I hate minimalist rooms. It makes me so upset. Dude, it's yours. Fill it with stuff you like. Bro, look at all my trash. <laughs> it's shit I like. Imagine being so lame that you have like a plant in your room and you call it good. Challenge for the artist. Go into your favorite music app. Could be Spotify, SoundCloud, YouTube, doesn't matter. Hit shuffle on a playlist. First song comes up, you gotta draw a character based off that. For example, slutty song, slutty character. Sad song, sad character. Only rule is you can't skip the song. You gotta use the first song comes up. Ooh. Ooh. What? Oh, yeah. Mm, 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 mm. You saved me. Why? Mm, memory. My loneliness is killing me. I must confess, I still believe. Still believe. When I'm not with you, lose my mind. Give me a sign. Boy, new art challenge. Show your first page in your sketchbook, your favorite page, your second favorite page, your weirdest page, your least favorite page, and a page where you explored a new style. I feel woozy. Do I look pale? I feel pale. You stop fidgeting, Mr. Link. You mustn't draw attention to yourself. Well, you're not very comfortable stealing a man's clothes. What's up? So I had this skateboard from when I was a kid and I sanded it down and it looked like this and the grip tape looked pretty nice. And then I sanded this dark color but then that got on the grip tape. So then I whipped that grip tape off and it looked like a giant pore strip, kind of gross. But then the deck was super sticky so I went out and got some goo gone and it said don't use on unfinished wood surfaces but we did anyway. So then I started sanding that off and here's the huge pile of adhesive boogers. So then I hit that nice smooth deck with some pre-stain and a lighter finish. And I went with a lighter finish because I panic called my girlfriend in the middle of Menards and that's what she chose. So then in the spirit of nude, I let that vibe out on the side while the stain dried and embarrassed myself a little bit. And it was a super nice day so there was tons of kids out and it was really freaking weird to have all of these little children watching you try to unicycle. But then once it dried, it looked a little bit like this. So then I flipped it over and got the first coat of polyurethane on there. And honestly, clear coat is my favorite part of any project ever because it just looks so sexy. So I'm gonna hit that with a few more coats and then get the script tape on there and then the bearings get delivered Friday. Thanks for watching. Calling all candy kids. Show us the first candy you made, if you still have it. The first candy that was traded to you. Your newest candy. Your biggest candy. Your tiniest candy. <laughs> your favorite candy. The candy that you will never trade. The candy that took you the longest. The candy you messed up on, but you still love it. And the candy that was most recently traded to you. At the very beginning of the school year, my art teacher gave me this sketchbook. She told us to pick a theme, any theme that we wanted at all, and then make a sketch about it every single week. And now that school's closed, I'm done, all my sketches are here, and my theme was happiness. This can mean happiness or what causes the opposite of it, sadness. It can mean what makes you happy. It can just be what people like in general or what makes me personally happy. So let's dig in. This one's about how people search for happiness through either drugs, money, or alcohol. This is about people finding happiness in their friends rather than themselves. This one is about happiness achieved through caring more about what other people think, see, and say about you rather than you being happy about yourself. This one is happiness through conquest, which is either through wars or relationships or sports. I drew these little ear butterflies to signal happiness through sound like music. This is people being happy about using filters on things like Snapchat because they're too insecure about their face. How to make this really pretty teal ink. You're going to want to take some copper and cut it up into little chunks. You want the trunks to be about the size of like a fingernail. You can also use wire, just make sure it's not plastic coat. Take your copper, put it into an airtight container. I'm using an old garlic jar. 
add salt. Like, like a lot of salt. And fill it up with vinegar. And then you want to let it sit for like a while. I've left this jar for about a month and it gives off this really pretty nice blue. But the longer you let it sit, the more intense the color will be. In theory, you can also use it as a dye, but I haven't tried that yet. I'll show you if I do though. So I've been thinking about the whole crush thing, and I've come to the conclusion that I don't think I have a crush. I mean, I think I just really would like to have romantic feelings towards someone, and I kind of, in the moment, convinced myself that, oh, wow, I really like this girl, but I just, I don't think I actually, like, like, like her or anything. I just, I don't know. I really would like to like someone, but I don't think I do. How to use sidewalk chalk to paint dynamic skin tones like this. First, use dark green where the dark skin will go. Second, use light green where the light skin goes. Then, rub it in with a cloth or your finger or a glove. Then, it should look really weird like this. Next, slowly paint on your flesh tones with the flesh color. Don't forget to get the eyes, those are the most important part. Use multiple colors for the flesh. Keep going. Patience is key. Practice a lot. And when you're done, it should look like this. So I accidentally broke my mom's china bowl from Iran and I was really upset so I decided to attempt to glue it back together with some rubber cement and some silver eyeshadow and watercolor mixed together to kind of replicate the Japanese technique of kintsugi. So I kind of mixed it all together and I started painting it on the cracks in the bowl to glue them together and I was hoping that some of the silver pigment would peek through once it was all assembled together. So it's mostly rubber cement, and then once I got the last piece done, I just filled in all the cracks to make sure they were saturated with pigment. And then the next day, once the rubber cement is dry, you can just peel off the excess, but it actually peeled off most of it. So I had accidentally left my watercolor wet, so I filled that in with some silver and wiped it away to clean it up, and then it still looked terrible, so I threw it in the trash. All right, it looks like this video is really needed since nobody could see the cat. I'll just say that I was painting this and I added the highlights and I thought they looked like whiskers and then I stood back from the whole thing and I realized this is a cat head looking to the left. How to make a quill pen. First step, cut diagonally, making sure that the long part of the quill is facing the outside of the feather. 
Next, take a crochet hook or any sort of looped wire and get that gunk out of the feather, making sure you have workable room. Next, make a slit on the long side of the quill, making sure that you are firm but gentle enough to not shatter the feather. Now you want to start carving out the back side of the quill. Um, take extra precaution here, this is difficult, especially as you are shaping the sides. On a quick side note, almost any large feather will do. But, if it's a feather that you find outside, make sure that it's a feather that conforms to the Migratory Bird Treaty Act of 1918. Please do your research. Anyways, here's what I have so far. Um, it's a little messy, but it doesn't really matter because I'm going to go back and reshape the back side of the quill very gently. And here's some walnut ink that my friend made me. It is such beautiful, rich ink. And here's how the feather works. I am really liking this. It doesn't yield to very thin lines, but that's just the nature of the feather. You can eat my drugs if you want to. You can eat my drugs if you say please. You can eat my drugs if you wanna. Better eat my drugs on your knees. chemicals in the water that turn the friggin' frogs gay. Do you understand that? Turn the friggin' frogs gay. Crap gay. Frogs friggin' frogs. It's not funny. I'm gonna say it real slow for you. Okay, so today's random video is on how I turned this regular eraser into a kneadable eraser. First, I just took something rigid, I used this lead pencil, and I started just making eraser shavings by erasing it against that um, lead pencil, and I did that until I got enough shavings. Now what you want to do is just knead the shavings until it forms into a ball. Mine wasn't sticky enough, so I ended up rubbing it over some duct tape, some sticky notes, and masking tape until I got the consistency I wanted. And yeah, it takes a while, but it's a fun quarantine activity, and it's really good for your art and sketches. Okay, bye! I was running far away, would I run off the wall someday? Nobody knows, nobody even knows. I was dancing in the rain, I felt alive and I can't complain